Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back. My View on the View, the radio broadcast. I'm your host, MVO TV. Thank you all for joining me. I absolutely love spending time with all of us in the community because it's just great to have someone to talk with about our favorite show. So if you're new passing through, check in the description box, okay? If you have any questions about me or the broadcast, what you need to know, I promise you, is there because there's a frequently asked questions section down there. Now, I was not going to touch this story, although I've been seeing it out there now for at least three and a half, four months. But the other day I was making time to go in the comment section here in our community and I saw a few of you saying it. I thought, well, maybe this is a bigger (laughs) deal than I thought it was. So what am I talking about? (sighs) Over the last several months, many fans of The View have kind of come to the end of Sarah Haynes. The thing I've seen the most is people saying, quote, unquote, she's a know-it-all. Um, that, listen, the comments have been so bad that even several of the gossip outlets have picked up the story. For instance, all of us know the U.S. Sun is a gossip. I mean, listen, most of their stories aren't even true. Now, sometimes there are a few stories that are true because, well, people who have actually been in the View audience sold their story, their whatever that they saw go on, you know, in the commercial breaks or during the commercial breaks to these outlets. Okay. So you do have to kind of sift to know what's real versus what isn't. But even they did a story, you know, citing some of the comments that they had seen about Sarah online several, several weeks ago. Now, let me kind of tell you kind of what else people are saying. Okay. Now keep it in context. Right now, I'm just telling you what other people are saying. I'm going to get to what my view on the view things. They're saying she's a know-it-all. They're saying, what does she think? She's a therapist at the table? Because they really can't stand some of these people when she gets on, you know, talking about this therapy and all that. I'm not going to play any clips because if you're watching the show, not even every day, but if you're just like in and out, you've seen some of these things. They're talking about the fact that she's condescending. Like I saw some of you say that she actually um, is passive aggressive. We've talked about that years ago. Um, So on and on and on. And of course, you know what that culminates culminates to. People are saying, well, it's time for Sarah to go. But y'all know how we are as human beings. We always go to the extreme. People are getting on our nerves. So it's time for them to go. So it's time for them to go. (laughs) Now, let me tell you what I think. Okay. Now, here's the deal. If you've been with me for five years and I've been here for five You know that um, over the years, I have often discussed my thoughts, my opinions about Sarah Haynes's uh, place in the group and the group dynamics and her part in that. I backed off of it because people began to accuse me of hating her. Now, at that time, I was still very early on in this whole thing called YouTube. I know what I was doing, child. Okay. And, um, I, I, I want to say I forgot, but I really have to just say I didn't know at the time that I needed to, to apply the, the way I live in my real life to the way I run my YouTube channel, which means, which meant in a way for me, well, if someone, if I'm telling you what I really think about something, me, my view on the view, I'm going to actually tell you what I really think. I'm going to try to be diplomatic about it and loving and kind and all those things. But yeah, you're going to get the truth, Ruth, okay? And so I didn't need to kind of try to sugarcoat things or, and, and try to please all these people in my audience um, by hiding what I really think about something or not saying something or backing off of it. I need to just, if I really thought this this day, I need to say it. And so I wasn't at that point yet, okay? I eventually got there, okay? But I used to say all the time, Sarah Haynes is passive aggressive. She she displays those traits. I don't know her. I've never talked with her. Of course, this is all observatory. But I was a witness like most of you here because we watched the video together of her therapy session that she had on live television with Iyanla Van Zandt. At that time, Iyanla had her show on OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network called Iyanla Fix My Life, where she told her she was passive aggressive. Okay, so I've talked about over the five years the passive aggressive traits, but I've also talked about the positive traits that she at the time I used to say was the balance to the table. I don't think that anymore. I have a a whole story coming out about what I think she is now and it's actually positive, but it's not the balance. Okay. 
I talked about the fact that Sarah is shady. You know, she's the kind of employee you really better watch your back. OK, and you, c- because you just got to. OK, and I got that from all the leaks we got over the years. OK, also, I said that she's the ray of sunshine at the table. I love Sarah's positivity. At least I love that it appears because I don't know that girl that she does try to see things being the glass half full instead of the glass half empty. And I'm that kind of personality, too. And so I, I, I just naturally uh, admire folks who try to do that because it ain't easy. Uh, Cause living ain't always easy y'all. Okay. And you know that. So I've said a lot of positive things, but I've also had some criticisms of her place in the group. Okay. For instance, we talked about the few times that Sarah said live on the show that she felt left out of the group, you know, because the ladies all went out for drinks or the ladies went out and did such and such and they didn't invite her. But then I talked with my young folks, especially, but all of us, I said, that's a consequence of what she chose to do in the group, which is on your job, on my job, if there is a real problem at that job and folks in our our department or what have you, they want several of them are getting together because they're strength in numbers and they're saying, hey, we're going to take this problem to the boss. And they come to you or me or Sarah and say, hey, you want to join us? And you say, no, I say no. That automatically will put us on the outside of that group because they will feel that they can't trust us. Now, let me stop and say this. Everyone has a right to handle themselves just like I do in the workplace the way we want. But we have to be willing to take the consequences and see some people say all day, oh, I don't care. if Well, I don't care what they say about me. I don't care what they think about me. I didn't come here to make no friends. And I don't care if they invite me out. They don't invite me to the group Christmas party or out to lunch or out to dinner. And yet over time, those people secretly do care, which is what happened with Sarah. And um, because she talked about they went through, you know, we went through all this stuff for years. So anywho, so we talked about all that. OK, um, now here recently, folks are pointing out, especially uh, on social media, that they're seeing her seemingly become more and more annoying as she tries to stand up for Alyssa, run interference with for Alyssa. Uh, she's condescending, people say. Also, they talk a lot about her sarcasm, that she's sarcastic. You know, when people are talking, especially Joy. I, I know uh, one group I was creeping and tiptoeing in, they were focusing on, because I think that day she had like interrupted Joy like a whole bunch of times and, you know, was sarcasm. What is sarcasm? We all know what sarcasm is. It's anger. It's anger housed in a joke. And all sarcastic people are, or we should say this facet of their personality is they don't know how to deal with their angry feelings. They they're, they don't have the courage or the strength or whatever we want to call it to just say to you or me or whomever it is on the job, hey, I really can't stand when you do that. Please don't do that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel you fill in the blank. So they hold it in and it comes out in sarcasm. So they talked about that. Okay. So what I want to say is that Yes, many, many fans, it appears, are noticing that Sarah, something's going, what they, what they're saying, something's going on with Sarah. Now, let me tell you what I think as I get ready to end. I've shared with you already some things I said in the past, but now let let me kind of bring it up to date in this way. Personally, as a viewer, because again, I don't know that girl, okay? But as a viewer, there are three things or three reasons that I personally think We are seeing her in particular stand up for Alyssa, what appears to be more and more and more and more. I mean, to the point where it's even annoying, I'm going to say, but I can ignore it because I have annoying things about me that I would like for people to ignore. So I just ignore it. But I want to point it out. These three things. Okay. The first reason that I think that we're seeing her seemingly just like try to protect Alyssa from Sunny and protect her from Joy I don't think it's about Alyssa. I think it's about Sarah because what we all do as human beings and Sarah ain't no different from me or you or nobody else is this. When we feel like we have been mistreated by certain people in the group or the group itself, but we have not said that we have not expressed that. Then someone comes into the group and we see those people treat that person 
similarly to the way we feel they've treated us. We are standing. We begin to take up for them, stand up for them in that group, not because of them. It's our way of vicariously standing up for ourselves. So the first reason I think she's doing it more and more and more is because she may be feeling herself more and more isolated, more and more, whatever, I don't know, whatever we want to call it in the group, especially you see it when Anna's there, don't you? You want to know why? Because what is the Friday group? Alyssa, Sunny, Anna, and Joy. If you've been with five years, you know, we've covered what is the real friendships there? Anna, Sunny, and Joy, they vacation together all the time. Joy has taken Sunny and Anna, not everybody else, but Sunny and Anna to her and Steve's vacation home in the Hamptons all the time. Remember, they used to do it with Net, with Megan and Megan used to get really jealous and they would come show the pictures. You know, they were they were really they did they just did not like her. OK, so you can really see this dynamic that I'm talking about, especially if you're listening and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any of this. Just start paying attention if you care to on Fridays. OK, because you can really see Sarah really going to bat for Alyssa. Again, I don't think it has anything to do with Alyssa. I think it's it's her doing it for herself vicariously by doing it through her for her. The second reason that I'm not going to go too much into because this is not the place for it. I think one of the other reasons that Sarah may really um, seem to be agreeing with Alyssa all the time and all that, I think there may be an untoward reason. And that's my way of describing it. OK, something that isn't probably healthy or right. And that's all I'm going to say. Then the third reason I think that she is standing up for her and all that um, is because, you know, it's just another form of just being passive aggressive with your own stuff. I mean, listen, the bottom line is that I think when Sarah sees Alyssa, she sees the earlier version of herself. You know, we've talked about this for years that and this kind of ties into my number one. Remember, we've seen Sarah herself transform at this table from this timid lady who would mostly sit and be quiet. Right, y'all at the table while she's listening to everyone talk. And we know they would have to say to her in her ear, OK, are you going to say anything or get in there, girl? Because we could see her kind of jump like, you know, like how somebody startles you out of whatever you were doing. It's kind of what Sonny said about Bill Getty when she auditioned that first time and she didn't get it. He told her you were sitting there. Watching them instead of leaning in like I know you can. And Sunny came, you know, she was on CNN. They knew she she had the legal mind. They knew she could, she had the verbal chops to get in there, but she was too intimidated. At the, and she talked about in her book, I Am These Truths, that first go round. So we've seen Sarah transform from the timid, not being able to really make strong points, kind of, you know, being talked over on top of by all the women. So it could be that when she sees Alyssa and she sees that kind of thing going on, she could again, be thinking about herself again, just like my number one, it ain't about Alyssa, it's about her taking up for her quote unquote, younger or more inexperienced self at a table like this. Now, of course, I don't know none of these folks. So child, I don't know why she's really doing it. I ain't sitting and asked her. I haven't interviewed Sarah Haynes or Alyssa or anybody else at the show. Okay. But as I get ready to end, I want to just remind all of us again. And I say this all the time because it's easy to forget all of us. Listen, none of us are perfect y'all. And when we watch these girls on this show, we got to remember they're just like us. You know, um, they have good days, they have bad days. They've got stuff going on that shows up at the table. Also, let's also remember they are working some really long hours. And so Hex, they could just be getting on Sarah's nerves, you know. Remember, they're filming these two shows now, sometimes three shows on one day. Guys, that's a lot, okay? Especially when you're on a live show because it's not taped. So there's no editing. You got to be careful what you say because once it's out there, honey, it is out there. There ain't no taking it back. There ain't no editing it out. It is what it is. And that's a lot of pressure. That's why a lot of these people in, in, in on these shows say they would never work on a live show. OK, you got to have some cojones to be on a live show. I couldn't do it. OK, I'd be just too nervous. So it could just be to all these things that we're saying is that, you know, it's just a lot of pressure. She's working, uh, you know, you're, you're around these people a little too much and now they're getting on your nerves. And now people can see the less pleasing part of your personality. So as I end, I want to thank you for being here. I really enjoy our time together. Listen, leave your thoughts below about 
what fans are saying, some people are just feeling like, okay, they've kind of had their feel of Sarah, <laughs> at least for now. But what we also need to remember is that we just got two and a half, what is it guys, three weeks of the show left and then they're gone for the summer. That's my view on The View. What say you? Bye guys.